back to the video boys, you PlayStation gamers out there. So the PlayStation 4 is still a very young and yet very successful home console. Despite the fact that the PlayStation 4 is so young, we already have seen many great titles get cancelled for the ever popular PlayStation 4. In this video, we count down the 5 greatest PlayStation 4 games that you, unfortunately, will never get to play. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be entered in our massive giveaway of 2 Uncharted PlayStation 4 bundles and 2 Aqua Blue PlayStation Vitas. Winners will be announced on May 31st, 2016. Once again, just hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below to be entered. Now, let's check out the top 5 best PlayStation 4 games that got cancelled. Number 5, EverQuest Next. EverQuest is one of the most popular MMORPG titles to date, and the PlayStation 4 was in the lineup to receive the upcoming EverQuest sequel, EverQuest Next. In 2014, many people began to question if EverQuest was actually going to hit the PlayStation 4. Thus, John Smedley from SOE had to post on Reddit that EverQuest Next was absolutely coming to the PlayStation 4. And to that, we say there hasn't been a more outright lie since Bill Clinton said, I did not have sexual relations with that lady. See, EverQuest Next ultimately got cancelled and will never hit the PlayStation 4. In fact, Russell Shank, president of Daybreak Studios, was quoted as saying, As we put the pieces together, we found it wasn't fun. A game that got cancelled for not being fun. That actually is kind of a first. On to number four. Number 4, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots. In 2011, Game Informer got the great opportunity to announce the newest addition to the long-running Tom Clancy series, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots. Unfortunately for Game Informer, said Tom Clancy's title would ultimately find itself in the Vita Boys cancelled PS4 games video. Following the announcement in 2011, there was no further development news until 2013 when GameStop removed Patriots from their website and cancelled all pre-orders. And guys, that's a bigger red flag than when I couldn't find myself listed in my own mother's phone. Despite GameStop cancelling all pre-orders, Ubisoft announced at E3 2013 that Patriots would still be hitting the PlayStation 4. As a side note, is it just me, or are game developers beginning to lie as much as politicians? Regardless, Patriots got cancelled in 2014 and replaced with Rainbow Six Siege, which arguably is a much better concept than Patriots. Nevertheless, we still would have loved to see Rainbow Six Patriots on the PlayStation 4. Number 3, Silent Hills. Not to be confused with Silent Hill, Silent Hills was to be a great survival psychological horror title for the PlayStation 4. Development of the title was being handled by famed Kojima Productions, and was to be the 10th title in the famed Silent Hill franchise. So I guess maybe it is to be confused with Silent Hill? Regardless, in 2015, rumors began to spread that Kojima began to have conflicts with Konami following the production of Metal Gear Solid 5, which quite frankly is insane because the pop hit received a 10 out of 10 on IGN and brought more people together than Betty White. Unfortunately, Kojima and Konami parted ways, and Silent Hills died in the process. A petition of nearly 200,000 signatures wasn't even enough to bring it back. Lead star Norman Reedus was... Wait a second, Daryl was supposed to be in this game? Well that just stinks, on to number two. Number two, Human Element. I didn't think any title could trump the fact that we missed out on a Kojima title starring Daryl, but apparently it could be done, and by a zombie title nonetheless. Human Element was to be an open world online multiplayer title set 35 years after a zombie apocalypse. The title was planned to be but much different than regular zombie media. Human Element focused much more on the humans rather than on the zombies, hence the name Human Element, which allowed for every ounce of fear and empathy to be drained from the gamer. Everything about Human Element sounded amazing. Character creation, zombies, class types, zombies, scavenging zombies, and zombies. Yes, Human Element had it all. Unfortunately, Robert Bowling, who used to work for Infinity War during the development of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, announced the cancellation of Human Element in January 2015. 
Actually, the title was said to be on hiatus, but then again, that's exactly what Zayn said when he left One Direction. And we all know he's never coming back, no matter how many tears we cry for him. Hashtag ZayneLove2016, on to number one. Number one, Star Wars 1313. Star Wars 1313 was to be an action-adventure title set in the marvelous Star Wars universe. However, in 2013, ironically, when LucasArts was acquired by Disney for two times Donald Trump's worth, hashtag Walt Disney for President 2016, Star Wars 1313 got put on hold. Despite this, I still love Disney, or at least I did, until I heard that Star Wars 1313 was to star Boba Fett as the main protagonist. Gamers would follow Boba during his early adulthood and help him grow into the galaxy's most sought-after bounty hunter. In typical, we're going to cancel this game when you forget about it fashion, Star Wars 1313 is technically on hold and not cancelled yet, but just like when Justin Bieber says you can go and love yourself, we all know that's code for something else. There you have it, PlayStation fans, the top 5 PlayStation 4 games that you will never get to play. This video has been brought to you by MotionArray.com. MotionArray is the premier source for easy to use lower thirds, video intros, stock music, and great after effect templates. If you want quality videos like ours, go check out MotionArray.com backslash VitaBoys. This way you can sign up for your free account. With paid membership, you receive no additional licensing fees ever, even if your effects are used in a motion picture that you see in Hollywood. You also will have access to thousands of great graphics and stock music and never suffer from long-term contracts. To start up, go sign up at MotionArray.com backslash VitaBoys today. So there you guys have it, that's top 5 PlayStation 4 games that you're never going to get to play. It truly is unfortunate, however. Let us know in the comments below what cancellation makes you tear up the most. And since you're commenting anyways, go ahead and enter our massive giveaway of two Uncharted PlayStation 4 bundles and two Glacier White PlayStation Vita 2000s. Yes, Glacier White, not Aqua Blue like I said earlier. Leave a comment and hit that subscribe button, winners will be announced on May 31st, 2016. Yeah, we're the Vita Boys here for you. Check back every week and stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe today to be notified. Stay up to date. We are covering everything PS Vita. Weekly game giveaways, come see us. Gameplays, unboxing, reviews, and more. With a lot coming and more in store. We're the Vita Boys and we're here for you. Check back every week and stay tuned.